and welcome along and welcome back to Six Ashes. We're currently heading up to our main yard, or what is now our main yard. Um, when this, well, in the uh, 5,000, in our uh, Ford Forces 5,000. Uh, we're bringing up the uh, baler up here. Um, but we also need to bring this up here because we need the, the uh, front loader off here. Uh, now, I haven't cleared up my trailer either, although that, I think, I don't know whether that should remain up here or should go back down to the other farm. But uh, either way, we are trying to set ourselves up today to get the carrots planted. So we want to do the top half of field 11 with the carrots. Uh, that will uh, get them done with time running out to get them in. Uh, and then after that, we're going to be looking at where we're going to be planting the soybeans. And really, I kind of have two choices. We've either got this field here immediately below us, which is uh, unmarked, which would suggest we need to plough it first. Or we've got field 17 for soybeans, which would be a really, probably a pretty good place to put them. So uh, I think we might look at that. It does mean getting whatever combine we have down the other side or down to our other farm and uh, and in there but it is a uh, it is a nice sized field that, that will work better as a field than it will as uh, a sort of grass grass we can do around here uh, and uh, and works quite well with this bit of farm so yeah I'm thinking uh, thinking field 17 is going to be a good place for us to uh, to do that with bring this around here I want to get all of my equipment up here we do need to get a pressure washer we have a problem at the moment in that uh, we have no pressure washer and all of the stuff is looking dirty and everybody is basically saying clean your tractor so uh, yeah we are going to have to do that I think we'll have to leave the, uh, the baler for a little while but uh, certainly that is what we're looking to do at the moment that is, there we go Done. We need to get this, and I've not got a weight on the back. Let's let's do what we did last time. We'll put the uh, fertilizer spreader on the back and put that on for weight. The two fields that we have already planted, those have germinated. So what we might do actually is see if we can uh, use this fertilizer and the fertilizer spreader here to uh, to give some fertilizer on those two fields as well. Uh, I want to be careful because obviously we've got field 11 split um, and I'd like to do that all at the same time as I said last time but uh, the thing is that we are uh, we're in a position where we don't need to do that uh, we should be all good or at the moment I suppose we can't do that because, uh, yeah, we're going to be seeding the carrots in the lower field. Now, somebody said in the comments last time that uh, there are carrot seeds, and I cannot see them. So I looked under big bags, and big bags have no carrot seeds in there. And then under pallets, I can't see any carrot seeds in here. We do have a carrot pallet, but as far as I know, that... Yeah, it's just feed for animals. It's not actually something that you can seed carrots with. And in here, we've got fertilizer, lime, pig food, oats, wheat, wheat seed, barley seed, oat seed, canola seed, soybean seed, oil seed, radish, grass seed, maize seed, uh, seed potatoes, sugar beet seed, sunflower seed, rye seed, clover seed, spelt seed, and alfalfa seed. So we don't have uh, carrot seed, and we don't have horse uh, horse grass uh, seed as well. So these seed pallets are going to have to be both of those things. But that, yeah, let's uh, let's disconnect this from this trailer and put this on our cedar. Yeah, lots of getting ourselves set up here first. And we've got, uh, we might be able to actually get field 17 cultivated uh, with the cultivator if it is planted 
as a field. Uh, that's the trouble we have at the top where we're going to put the horse grass in. That most definitely is not currently marked as a field. Oh, and this currently has canola on it. So, better unload that. Um, open it. There we go. That's unloaded canola. And then we can come over here and just load up with the standard seed. Like so. Perfect. And this is still loaded with canola. We are going to change that now to... go and we need carrots to feed the horse of course so that's that's the reasoning behind this uh, let's turn that tractor off and I think today because we have time I think what we're going to do today is uh, get this out what is our weather forecast like do we want to do a cut of grass yes we do so let's actually get this going with uh, course play and then I think we'll go and cut the grass on field 17. Uh, because if we do that, we should get a, uh, a nice load of hay before we get rid of the field. Look at that. Fields are coming up nice. So we need to do the same thing here as we did last time. So we get the edge of the field. We get... And it's good for us to actually define this now. Drive course. Oh, no, no. Clear. Start course recorder. There we go. And then around the edge here. Now it's got an offset to it for some reason. Why have we still got an offset on this? We need to cancel that actually. I think what we're going to do is drive around the inside of the field here. Clear it. Start recording. No, nope, again, that there is a definite offset on that. But I can't see it set anywhere in the settings. I'll just drop one more look for all of this. But, nope. Okay. Right. So let's see if we can work out where we need to place this. If this is. The course play is going to be difficult. About there should be good. Yeah. So we're going to follow it with our outer tractor tyre. Because that seems to be roughly in the right place. It's not a problem for most of this field. It's when we come to do the bit uh, where it's matching up on the other field. It's why the bit that's matching up on the other field uh, apparently strayed a little bit into the bit we've got here. And then we want a nice sharp turn into here. Yeah. Going down the middle. Now it's changed where the uh, where that bit was. Which is a bit weird, but never mind. Again round this corner. Yeah, this field has a little bit of a weird kick out at the bottom corner here. Which we'll go into and round like so. And around this corner. And the advantage of doing it this way is we get some nice rounded corners in the field as well. Which is, uh, which is a little bit normal. Uh, and just makes things a little bit easier for our tractor here. And bring it 
back round to the start. And that will define the outside of our field. Like so. Interesting positioning on everything there. Right, so we want to save this. So if we look under here, we've got field 11A edge. So this is uh, field 11B edge. There we go. And then from here, we want to generate a course. Current a loaded course, automatic. So again, we've got a nice, you can see the nice shape there. Uh, automatic bypass islands. Headlands, uh, three as normal. Up downs, turn in the corners. Headland overlap, generate course. And there we go. And it starts and ends pretty much here, which is brilliant. That will work perfectly. Uh, get the carrots into here, and then we'll go and give some uh, fertilizer to our two other fields. So, here, drive course. And away it goes. Perfect. I just want to check. Yeah, we've got plenty of fuel in that tractor, so we are all good. I'm just going to jump through here. And head back down to our other tractor. Right, what we want to do here is uh, drop these seeds back in the shed. Uh, just clean up a little bit. And then we've got we've got 400 litres of fertiliser. I don't know how far that's going to go. We may have to go and do a run to pick up some more of that in a bit. No, I'm going to take that off. I want to do is drop that down and pick this up. And then put this in here. The only problem with this, and I think we'll we'll end up having a kind of a big we're either gonna end up with a flat area here with a uh, bit below it or just a, a really really weird area is that canola over there it is okay let's stack these up then keep it nice and clear like so I'll put those onto there that then is done block the door I'll just drop that on the front and go and use up the rest of the fertilizer we've got here see if we can uh, spread it on our first field we can't put uh, care wheels on this tractor I don't think I don't think either of our tractors have care wheel capability so we're gonna end up destroying crop whatever uh, we just need to be careful about how we do it I think We'll start with this field here. Now, will this destroy crop? No. Good. Let's turn. Oh, I don't think. No, we've not got our PTO attached. There we go. And away we go. Hopefully, this won't go down very quickly, and we'll be able to get this all around this field. But, this means that we're going to have a nice load of fertilizer on here, without having destroyed any of the crops yet, which is absolutely brilliant. Coming to the end of the field, and we've got like 70, 60 odd litres left. Oh, is this going to be enough? I think it might. I think we might be okay here. 48, yes. Okay, so we've got a little bit uh, along here to do. Which will take us down to our last 30 litres. What I really want to do is uh, there's a couple of places, at the like at the edge here, where I don't know if we've got enough to get here done and 
another little patch. There we go. Yeah, getting these patches done, that's my thing at the moment. 11 litres, yes! Oh no. Right, okay. This is not an overly realistic approach. But we have used up all of the fertilizer on this field. Uh, and it just about made it. Which is brilliant. I'm very, very pleased that we managed that. So what we're going to do now is uh, we're going to get this and we're going to drop this off. We'll go and buy some fertilizer later. Uh, but what we've got at the moment is uh, it's now an opportunity to go and cut the grass. It is we're still, yeah, we're still really good. We've got a very, very nice amount of time available to us in general. Uh, it's late spring. We've got a good amount of drying. Uh, we should be able to just drop this off, pop back down to our other farm and get the mower and start cutting. Because everything being dry, it's go it's going to dry without a tether, which is good news. Which is absolutely cracking news. So let's drop this off, drop that off. And we'll head down to the other farm and we'll see if, uh, see if we've got enough power in this little tractor to make the mowers go. So I got back down to our main, uh, to our stables and suddenly remembered we don't own a mower. Uh, we've had to pop down to the shop as a result. Uh, we will grab ourselves a mower. One that works on this tractor would be really useful. So, choices are... Basically, I think pretty much everything takes like 85 horsepower. This one is a, a two meter coon, but I'm going to go for this uh, uh, 60 horsepower, uh, three meter pottinger, I think. I think that's going to work best for us. So uh, let's grab this. Uh, we are going to buy this. I might replace it when the new DLC comes out next week because there may be a better mower for us to do. But... I'm going to buy this one. We do need to own a mower. We are going to be doing lots with it. And if we do need to replace it uh, next week, we can very easily. Uh, we can sell it and uh, and probably get most of the 10500 that we've just spent on it back. Uh, we'll be good. I think we're going to have to look at doing a, uh, a contract or two in the near future. Simply because we're not going to have enough money to do things like... Um, get our harvester and things so uh, yeah there are bits like that what kind of contracts do we currently have popping up i mean we don't have the time to do it at the moment but uh yeah fertilizing contracts plowing cultivating plowing sowing yeah there's no big contracts it's a big fertilizing contract on field eight kicking about but we are in general uh, that's good. If those big contracts are still kicking about in a bit, uh, we'll be able to do those and earn some money over the summer. Because uh, the summer, of course, is, is when we are able to uh, have a little bit of extra time to do those bits and pieces and earn a little bit of extra cash. Now, one disadvantage to us doing Field 17 is going to be that we're not going to... Whoop, we're not going to be able to get this uh, cultivated and seeded. And probably until early summer. Uh, it's part of the reason why we are doing uh, soybeans. Because it's not a massively British uh, crop soybeans. But it's a crop that we can plant late enough for us to work. Oh, there's not enough of in this tractor. There is and there isn't. We've got 60 horsepower in the tractor. The trouble is, the tractor could probably do with a bit of a repair. And that's why it's struggling uphill at the moment to do this. I should have given it a repair while we were down at the bottom. I don't know what we have as far as placeables and repair shops go. Let's have a look. Um, miscellaneous. Have we put a repair shop? We've not put any placeable repair stuff in here other than the standard vehicle workshop. So 
So I'm going to have to sort that next time, I think. Uh, we kind of need something to repair. But this, at the moment, is not really... It's struggling to get up this hill. Uh, and it is because it hasn't been fully repaired. I think. This is, does have... So this, this mower requires 60 uh, horsepower. This tractor has it. This tractor does have the horsepower to do this. But just not up this hill at the moment. We have dropped some horsepower because we do need to do some maintenance on this tractor. Once it gets up to the top of the hill, it'll be fine. But it's going to be a very, very long slog. I think we should go get this repaired and give this a give this a go. So I'm going to go and do that. I'm going to stop this uh, and we will uh, take this up to the shop, get this repaired, and, uh, and see whether that makes any difference to it being able to run this mower. Okay, tractor is repaired. Let's see if we can't get this to run. And that is immediately much better, although I haven't lowered it, so it's not actually cutting. Let's try that again. And down. Yeah, immediately much better. So if you find your, you've got a, a tractor that is low horsepower for the piece of equipment you're using, then and it's uh, and it's not running. That is why you need to make sure your tractor is tipped off. Otherwise, the tractor loses that little bit of horsepower, and as a result, you, you just can't use the piece of kit. One of the downsides of using this tractor for this job, of course, is the fact that it drinks fuel. We are down to an eighth of a tank, uh, so we're going to complete this round. This is our fifth round. Uh, around the field we are getting through the field uh, at a good rate and it's yeah it's certainly running better now that we've repaired this tractor uh, the problem we've got is uh, yeah that it is just drinking fuel so let's get this to the end of here uh, we've also got our 6810 has finished its job uh, the carrots are all planted which is great news uh, so that's our initial set of uh, stuff. Our initial set of. There we go. Turn that off. Hold it up. Uh, our initial set of crops are planted now. We can't plant again until after this field dries to hay, and uh, and we're able to then row it up and bale it, which will probably be the next day. So I'm expecting early summer to be able to get the soybeans in, which is not too late for soybeans. We've, we've only just entered uh, the planting time for them. So uh, that, will be, that will be a good time to get them in. Probably means a late harvest. Hopefully autumn will be uh, drier and, uh, and we might be able to get it done. But we'll see how it goes. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna take this up here. We're gonna get this refueled. Uh, we will get our 6810 back to the barn um, because that basically is finished for today. Probably be pretty good if we could get that actually to do the uh, to go and do some plowing. So what I might do is see if we can refill this and that's refilling. And we'll go and grab the 6810. And we'll see if we can set the forward forces with a hired worker along a straight edge, just sort of doing stuff. While this. So we'll take this off. Of course, play. Interesting. Multi terrain angle on what would appears to be the potato. Um, I think that's pretty cool. Let's, uh, right, we want to drop this off. Has used most of this, which is okay. And then, round down. Yeah, 
We're going to see if we can get a plow for this. To plow these two fields. So I'll put this back here. And go and get our other one started. And we're just going to use a standard hired worker, I think, for the other one. Right, turn this off. There we go. Alright. And go and put this back. So I'm going to go and set this back on a hired worker doing the uh, doing the other one. And we will go and see if we can get hold of a plow and, uh, and get that field up there done. I think we probably want to get this field here done as well. See if we can't uh, up the output from both of them. Our full 5,000 is now back cutting the field and we've brought the 6810 down to the shop. We're going to see if we can buy a cheap... Well, we're going to see what the widest plow for the least horsepower for the least price we can buy is. Uh, considering that this it has 90 horsepower, that 6810. Uh, what we're looking for from a plow is something that will work with 90 horsepower. So something like the non-reversible Salford will do it. Um, oh, we've got a few item options here. Wow, what is the width on that? 3.5 meters on that. Uh, 80 horsepower from the Lemkin Opal. 100 from that, yeah. Uh, 100, 170, 140, I think it's the small Pottinger. 80 there, so 1.5 meters. Oh, a ransom for 1.3 that requires 45 horsepower. That would work even with our little one. So yeah, we're looking at, at, at 1.5 meter plow there. A 1.1 meter plow from the Lemkin. Uh, or from the Salford, a two meter. But that is 85 horsepower. That is right on the top edge of, uh, of what, we can, what we can do. What is the price of that? So that would be 663. The, uh, well, that one's 3.5 meters, that non-reversible one. But that would cost us 17 pounds to use that old massy plow on here. Uh, would do the job. That's 350 pound for a, for a cheap plow that does three and a half meters. That that is that is what we want. We can't rent plows for that price. Um, and speaking of renting, 17 pound. Yeah. Oh no, we can't lease it. It is an old piece of machinery, so we have to buy it. Not the end of the world. I will take three and a half meters for 20 horsepower. Wow. Yes, please. That is the Massey pack. The Grey Fergie pack coming to the rescue for us. And that will definitely work with this tractor. That is a really low horsepower requirement. I'm guessing it is because of that pack. Um, but uh, yeah, it will do us. So let's pick it up. There we go. I think that's about as wide as our uh, as our other one. Now this, of course, does not fold in or anything like that. So we've got to watch the width while we're on the road. They're all clear though. So uh, I'm going to get this back and uh, and start creating that new field. I think we may have a little bit of time to do it. We've got it back and our mower is still going over there. You can see him going up and down the field. I am going to take this up to this field up here. And this is, so this is the field that we've got that is, uh, is currently not plowed or anything. We tried to do the cultivator in here a little while ago uh, and that didn't work. So we're going to get plow on it instead. And back it up. Right, we want the uh, plow into the field. This of course is a non-reversible plow, so they're only going to be in furrow part of the time. 
Yeah, that currently is not doing anything. Now, turn field creation on. Turn our beacon off. And start cutting along here. And yeah. This actually is going to be a reasonable sized field. Uh, I'm quite happy about this. We've got to... The reason why we're doing horse grass in here is because we need to make horse silage eventually. Uh, hay, we're, we're okay for our meat. Well, we have plenty of that. Um, but yeah, horse, horse silage is something that at the moment we have no means by which we can make. So we want to try and get that to be... Um, do as well. Let's get this down. There we go. It's doing nicely. Doing very nicely. Uh, yeah, this little flower is perfect for. The, kind of, the amount of work we're going to be doing, having an old plow like this on the farm is, uh, you know, it's not a bad thing. Uh, we are not planting anything that requires plowing after... Well, no, no, the one thing we are doing, actually, is uh, I think after doing the... Uh, after doing the carrots, we'll probably have to plow. So we may use this for that, or we may get an upgrade once, we're, uh, once we've got a little bit more money. But this is uh, this will do us for for just sort of this general field creation while we don't have a lot of cash. Twenty five past or twenty seven minutes past nine at night, and our uh, our tractor has performed really well actually with this plow. Uh, we've got most of the way through uh, what I'm probably going to call field ten A. Um, just wondering the size of this field compared to the other stuff. Let's have a look here. So compared to field 17, uh, it's it's definitely our smallest field. So I think we are going to put the horse grass in here. I was kind of thinking uh, maybe I would, maybe I wouldn't. Uh, but it is getting late and uh, I think this may be one of those things where it gets finished tomorrow uh, and done the next game day even if we only have this tiny little bit to go uh, our other tractor if we just hop over to that quickly uh, has been doing stuff as well uh, there's a little bit of cleanup i need to do with this because while our hard work has been pretty good at this he has missed a few bits so there's a few bits like this that they're doing. If this is going to dry in time uh, for us to get it bailed and everything, we have to do that. I think we might have to get a tether on here. Because if I remember correctly, the Maze Plus does actually require a tether on this level. So, uh, yeah, we're going to have to get that. There's a little bit of grass that I knew about up here. So we can get this finished off. But all in all, I would say this has been a very busy and very successful day on Six Ashes. We have got a lot of work done. We've made a lot of progress forwards. Heck, the, uh, the carrots are in. Uh, our first field has been fertilized. We've, uh, we've cut all of this uh, grass for hay. Yeah, it's been, uh, I'd say it's been pretty successful. So uh, we're going to leave this here. Uh, we will be back here on Monday's video. Tomorrow we'll be back to Eddie up on the northern coast. For now, though, all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, drop us a comment, and give it a share. And for all the latest videos from Virtual Farmer, please subscribe to the channel, ring that bell, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.